the internationally acclaimed award-winning comedy prodigy legend. A man who not only makes you laugh, but will also change your religious beliefs. A man who... Oh, this is ludicrous. I can't say this stuff. I'm just not comfortable saying this. It's just not the sort of thing I do. I mean, I don't even know where the bloody hell Listen, I am. Listen, Mr X Factor, you've got to say these lyrics. There's about half a million people out there waiting for this show to start. Simon Cowell ain't gonna save your ass now, man. I drove you to this place, remember? Yes, I do remember. In the boot of your bloody car as well. Yeah, whatever, man. Just say these words like a gangster and let's get this show started. I don't wanna have to pistol with you, Dave. Yeah, it's Peter. Yeah, whatever, man. Just say these words like a gangster, innit? Yeah, but I'm not a real gangster. I'm Peter Dixon. I I I'm a voiceover artist. This isn't good for my image. Yeah? You're not good for my image, Mr. Downtown Abbey, but I'm trying to go mainstream now, so let's do this, P. Dicky. Okay. You bastard. You bitch. You bastard. You bitch. You bastard. You bitch. You bastard. You bitch. You bastard. Bitch. Don't. Oh. Okay. This one, yeah? This one. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the baddest man in stand-up comedy? A man who's even been described as funny. A man who <laughs> get all the nuts. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Just... Okay. Would you please welcome to the stage? The man who brought you What's Happening White People, Mr. Sonic Boom, Mr. Tiger Uppercut, Mr. Shuruken, the original Street Fighter, the modern day urban myth, the King Arthur of comedy, the 10th wonder of the freaking world. Would you please welcome to the stage, Mr. Eddie Murphy. You bastard. Oh. You oh. bastard. Oh. You wait till I come off the... Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to the stage, Mr. Paul Chowdhury! This is my new show, you know, PC's World, as you can see. You know, I thought I want to talk to you about political correctness, how far you can take it, you know. No one knows the limits anymore. I remember the first time I told the audience, I'm going to call my new show PC's World. This guy shouted out, don't call it PC's World, call it Curry's. <laughs> Don't clap that, you racist bastard. <laughs> Dave's like, yeah, mate, get him out, Packy, bang. <laughs> I like London in general. You get a lot of close talkers in London, though. You know, what's happening, mate? Scan, you know those right in your face. You're too close, that's what's happening. Let's keep this conversation at arm's length. You know you're too close to me if I've got to be cross-eyed while I talk to you. <laughs> if I've got to breathe in while you breathe out. <laughs> I might as well get off with this geezer. What's the problem in London? It's overcrowded. You can't even get a seat on the tube. I think there's a rule, though. If a pregnant woman comes on the train, give her your seat. Pregnant woman came on the train the other day. I go, there you go, madam, there's a seat. She sat down. I said, congratulations on the baby. She goes, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> and then she didn't give me the seat back. <laughs> I thought, what's her problem? So I said, congratulations on the Kentucky Fried Children, then. <laughs> it turns out they were Greg's. There are things you can, and there's things you can't say. You know, like, I realized this when I did a show on this very stage for BBC One called Live at the Apollo. Anyone see that? Yeah. I was the very first Indian on Live at the Apollo, and the last. <laughs> Give you an example, right? Mo Farah turned up, sat right there. You know who Mo Farah is? Yeah. Yeah. Internationally acclaimed Somali, Mo Farah. <laughs> Olympic gold winner, sat right there, I said, oh, it's Mo Farah, how about, you know what Mo Farah's real name is? It's not Gemcho. <laughs> how did you go from Mo Farah to Gemcho? <laughs> well, that's what you call a good Jew. <laughs> Sukaris. Sukaris. That's what you call a Punjabi. Oh, shut up, a bastard! <laughs> so can't you? I did a lot of jokes about good Jews in my last DVD. They wanted to fight me in the street. <laughs> Why did you say that? So can't you? So can't you? What are you doing, man? So can't you? So Mo Farah turned up that night. Anyone knows Mo Farah's real name is? Apart from Kemcho? <laughs> exactly, Mohammed. Muhammad Farah, but he said he had to change his name to Mo Farah because white people weren't comfortable with a Muhammad running around at record speeds. <laughs>
changes that to mold, mate. He shit myself. <laughs> so I said, how about a big round of applause for Mo Farah? Whole audience started applauding Mo Farah. I said, Mo, come on, man, stand up, because I don't want to stand up. Whole audience gave Mo Farah a standing ovation. I said, Mo, stand up. He goes, I don't want to stand up. I said, why not? He goes, I'm not even Mo Farah. <laughs> It was just some other black guy that was sat there. <laughs> and now I look like a massive racist. <laughs> you ever try and defuse a racial situation, you make it even worse. That's just not Mo Farah, it's just I'm on the Maltese ahead. <laughs> I'm in serious trouble for that. I remember the producer called me into the dressing room and said, how dare you, you cannot advertise Maltesers. <laughs> on BBC One. There's a limit, you know. There's a lot of th unspoken things in this country, though. I mean, let me ask you something, right? Have you ever seen a white guy working in a nightclub toilet? <laughs> you never see it, innit? They're coming over here nicking our jobs. Who's coming over here nicking your jobs? <laughs> I've never seen a white guy going, no cash, no gash. So was some guy who can rhyme, no cash, no gash. <laughs> no spray, no lay. <laughs> no issue, no issue. <laughs> no Armani, no Ponani. <laughs> no sanitation, no penetration. <laughs> no Calvin Klein, no 69. <laughs> if it tastes like chicken, keep on licking. <laughs> no Paco Roban, you go home with a man. No aftershave, you go home with Dave. <laughs> Has anyone ever been kidnapped before? Well, you look like kidnappers, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> you look like you kidnapped those two on the end of the road. <laughs> yeah, get a shot of them, just for... <laughs> the gore I just ran in with the camp. <laughs> just in case. A couple in London, actually, apparently, Kidna Indian couple kidnapped three women for 30 years. I don't think that was kidnapping. I think it was Indian hospitality gone way too far. <laughs> you go to an Indian house, it feels like a kidnapping. <laughs> That's why white people don't kidnap, you've got to feed them. <laughs> you've got to feed them, it's like having a pet get them out, mate. <laughs> Indian people want to feed you as soon as you walk through the door. Have some samosa, have some rice, have some chicken, you the bastard. <laughs> I, honestly, I just ate before I got here. Eat the gator bank! <laughs> Open his mouth, shove it in! Eat, bastard! <laughs> Push it in his mouth, bastard! <laughs> Eat, bandy! <laughs> Eat him again, bastard! <laughs> Forty years later, they're still there. <laughs> Are you right, mate? No, I think I've got diabetes. <laughs> You've been kidnapped, innit? it? And what's your name, man? Jibril. Jibri? Jibri. Jibril. Jibril. Yeah. What kind of a name is Jibril? <laughs> Jibril. Is that a real name? <laughs> Anyone heard of this thing? Is it a Bengali name or what? Arabic. Arabic? You look Bengali to me, bro. <laughs> Jibril. What's this Bengali's name next to you? Raj. 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 Like a rash. <laughs> you want to put some jibriol on that, bruv? <laughs> that will clear it right up. <laughs> what are you filming me for, you Bengali? <laughs> You've got a whole crew here. This guy comes out with his camera phone. No, don't film him. Beat the shit out of him. <laughs> is going to be better than all these professional video equipment. I want you to do me a favour, Dave. I want you to beat the shit out of this Bengali <laughs> and I want the other boy out to film it. <laughs> uh, we'll all back you up. <laughs> Gabriel? <laughs> you thought I forgot because I went over there, innit? <laughs> oh, shit, man, that was close, innit? <laughs> man, that was close, fam. You're a dead man right now. <laughs> How old is this little tata in the front? <laughs> what are 
you about 15? <laughs> Looks like he was about to start. <laughs> What's your name, fam? Uh, What's him? <laughs> What's him? <laughs> What's him? What's him? <laughs> I go, what, what, what's him? What, 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 what's him? <laughs> You're a DJ, bruv, isn't it? <laughs> what, what, what's him? Man like, what's him at the front? <laughs> this guy's texting now all of a sudden. <laughs> Are you texting now, you bastard? <laughs> what's your name? Sing. Sing? Don't piss about. Sing. I'm going to sing you out of this building in a minute. Uh, just sing. There's millions of things in this room. It's like, like TV. Last TV I got offered a show on Channel 4, Embarrassing Bodies. You seen that? You don't get many Indian people on Embarrassing Bodies because they've got way too many health problems. <laughs> Wouldn't even fit on one series. <laughs> I got diabetes, leukemia. Triple heart bypass, my neck, my whiplash, <laughs> and my cross him. <laughs> Everything. I'm sorry, sir, we've only got eight episodes in this series, and we can't fill them all with you. English people don't care, mate. They'll show anything on embarrassing, but I come, I come when I roll it back. <laughs> What's all that about, man? <laughs> Am I supposed to have a fifth bollock on the back of my knee? <laughs> Get the other camera and shove it up my ass. <laughs> I want to show him the hemorrhoids. <laughs> That's terrible, sir. Have you spoken to your doctor about this? No, I'm too embarrassed, mate. <laughs> I thought I'd go on national TV instead. <laughs> show him the People are complaining about this country, about the weather. We live in the best climate in the world. We don't suffer from hurricanes or tsunamis. Think about it, America had Hurricane Katrina. Jamaica had Hurricane What There Is. <laughs> and we had Hurricane Dave. <laughs> Knocking over bins like it was pissed. <laughs> in other countries, you can lose your home and all your personal possessions. What's the worst that can happen in London? I stepped in a puddle, Dave. <laughs> Obviously, my condolences to anyone who's lost a fence. <laughs> I know why people love fences. You know, in Bangladesh, right, your whole family can get wiped out in an earthquake, and they still don't get a day off the British factory. <laughs> my family are dead. Ah, oh, don't worry, you can bury them on your lunch break. I'm joking, you don't have lunch break. <laughs> you can bury them in your toilet break. I'm joking, you don't have toilet break. <laughs> Throw it in the bin. <laughs> if you ask if you're gonna get a tan, Dave, I hear, Paul, you're gonna get a tan, mate. Do I look like I need a tan? <laughs> See, Dave, you get a tan, get a bit more golden. He gets a tan, he's one shade away from being Sri Lankan. <laughs> that guy's one shade away from working at a petrol station. 